All right, this will be how to transfer your contact data and your other data from your ZTE blade to another device. So we'll start with contacts. So when you first get into your contacts app, you'll see a list of all your contacts and their numbers. Um, of course, there's not, nothing on this phone. But if you wanted to, say, have that contact data on your new device, there's a couple different ways you can do this. One is if you're already synced with Google. So go to your settings, accounts, and we have this automatically sync app data, and then that would sync with any account. So we would hit add account, tap Google, and then we would sign into our Google account. And then all of that data would be synced, and then any other device you sign in with that Google account, you'll have that sync data there as well. The other way will be on your other device. So if your contact data is integrated with your SIM card, you would just go to import on your future device and you tap SIM card and you hit OK. So it'll be a little bit different on other devices, but it'll kind of follow this uh, similar logic. Now let's talk about transferring data off of our this phone to a future phone. So you'd go to your file manager app. Now here you can just see phone, but if we did have an SD card, you would see that here as well. And what you can do is you could go into all of your different files that you would want to transfer. You can also select all, this is select all option. Um, and then you can actually just move that to where you want. You tap move and then it would uh, show you your options. Of course, in this case, we just have phone, but you'd be able to move that to your SD card. And then when you transfer the SD card to your other device, you'll transfer all that data along with it. However, if your other device doesn't have an SD card, you'll have to transfer it a different way. So one other way to mention is also if you've already synced with your Google account, as you did with contacts, let's say, you would have access to certain levels of data that had synced to your Google account as well. Um, so that's worth noting. Uh, the other thing that, that we can suggest is using a third-party app such as Zapia, but there's a lot of other options. Um, the best thing to do is to go to the Play Store. Uh, of course, can't sign in here to show you. However, just type in data transfer and search and go with one that has some good reviews uh, at least four stars, usually upward from there, and then just read through some reviews and find something that you feel confident you can trust. All right, thank you.